So this week Apple had their WWDC 2021 event which released their iOS 15 software and that'll be released later in the year but inside of this update they're also focusing on something called Focus which is a new mode that you can activate on your iPhone in iOS 15 which helps to improve your work-life balance. Now today's video is sponsored by Taskade. There's a little bit more about them in the description and we'll share a little later in the video about how it works. You can get some discounts and offers below which you might enjoy. So this new focus mode that Apple is talking about is really interesting. It's designed to help you reduce the amount of notifications and improve your work-life balance. So the first thing they announced is actually larger icons, a very small addition, but something that's aiming to, at a glance, help you to identify which application the notification is coming from, to help you make a faster decision. They're also aiming to introduce less notification to you, and they're doing this through a variety of ways. The first is something called summary batching. This is actually something which a lot of email applications are introducing. Essentially, it's taking time to reduce the amount of emails that are coming in by batching a set time period for those to come in. So for example, you set your summary batch to arrive at 9.30, that will be your morning briefing of notifications. So they all come in at once, and you essentially are reduced in terms of uh, your distractions and notifications being nudged. Now, of course, they do have things set up so that people who um, are regular um, and, for example, urgent things, don't actually go through this summary batching, but very useful for all of those things that regularly come in and be introduced to your day that you don't necessarily need. Now they have this do not disturb mode silencing, which, which actually, if you're messaging somebody, will give them a notification that you are in this focus mode so that it helps you to stay on task. And if they do want to nudge you, they've got this like uh, more enforced message that they can send you, which definitely helps um, if it's something really urgent. So on top of this focus mode, they're introducing these modes that allow you to almost switch mindsets or statuses. So for example, you have personal work and uh, even ones for sleep and focus. Now these are all designed to help you stay in these sort of different modes and I really like the way that Apple have approached this. So what they do is they use on-device intelligence to be able to detect what mode uh, you're in and how you've used applications and messages, notifications uh, in the past to react to this. So for example, if you set this on work mode, You'll only get work notifications and apps that are relevant to that work um, and vice versa with personal. It also has the ability to match your focus with your home screens. So for example, when you're at work, you'll get a home screen that looks completely different to a personal home screen, which might have more entertainment based applications on. I really like this. This whole like change in context for statuses is really cool. And you can actually create your own custom focus as well, if that's something you want to do. So I think this is definitely an improvement, especially because Apple have put a lot of focus on focus, uh, but also they've added some additions to Apple Notes, allowing you to add tags and mentions and improved multitasking as well, if that's something that you find beneficial. Anyway, folks, a huge thank you for stopping by. If you'd like to subscribe here, it'd be great to have you here in the community. You can actually follow along to more productive videos that we share here on Keep Productive. But here's a little bit more about Task. Hopefully you enjoy learning a little bit more about how it works, a really powerful project management application that you might just enjoy. Anyway, folks, thank you very much. And I'll talk to you all very soon. Cheerio. This month here on Keep Productive, we're sponsored by Taskade. Taskade is an all-in-one collaboration tool for working faster, smarter, and together. I followed their journey since the early days and I've been impressed with their product that they've built. Taskade isn't just for your task, it helps you manage projects with a range of views. They collaborate together in real time, even through video. You can use templates and workspaces to create your own notes, documents, mind maps, and much more. So you can change a collaborative task list into a mind map by click of a button. 
TaskAid is used by small to medium sized teams for working together, but is also a favorite amongst personal users thanks to the flexibility of the tool, allowing you to create everything from a bujo to a powerful to-do list. Each project as well supports chat and video conferencing too. You can get TaskAid below for free, available on all of your devices, and for teams, pricing plans start at $5 per user per month. Thanks again to TaskAid for coming on as a sponsor.